See, that's how you film wildlife. You get an area, you start filming, and then they come to you. Isn't it beautiful? That is a pretty butterfly. Bees pollinate 70 of 100 main crop species that feed 90% of the world. Without the work of bees, we'd have about half the amount of vegetables and fruits that currently fill the produce department at your local grocery store. They're responsible for more than $15 billion in increased crop revenue each year. And as the populations decline, we face what we faced with not only financial losses, but risk affecting the entire ecological and biological systems that bees are a critical part of. But it isn't just bees that are disappearing from our habitats. Butterflies, in particular monarch butterflies, are disappearing at a terrifying rate. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced in February that since 1990, about 970 monarch butterflies have vanished. Poof vanished. So why should we care? Well, butterflies and moths in particular are indicators of healthy environments and ecosystems. If we're doing things correctly, bees and butterflies should be abundant. See, butterflies aren't just pretty creatures. They're food for birds and bats. Birds and bats that control other insect populations that left unabated could destroy crops. And those birds are food for predators that keep bird populations from getting too large. Once again, destroying crops or upsetting the balance of ecosystems we depend on to live and breathe. So what is killing these bugs off? Well, no one seems to want to admit the obvious causes because it might cut into their bottom line. One is neonicotinoids, a class of pesticides used almost universally on crops grown in the United States. And while the companies making the pesticides continue to assert claims that neonicotinoids are the most safe and that as long as they're used properly, it really isn't that big of a deal. Which is strange since the European Commission has banned at least three kinds of neonicotinoids, citing risk to bees particularly as the reason. Another cited reason for the ever expand is the ex ever expanding industrial farming market. See, many fields that were once filled with wildflowers are now being tilled under to grow food crops, which wouldn't be so bad if food waste wasn't such a problem. In fact, a recent study showed that between 31 and 40 percent of the American food supply goes to waste. And most of that is the very fruits and vegetables being grown in fields that once provided food for bees and butterflies. But look, it's not as if we can't do anything to abate the problem. The USDA actually came up with an app, which is going to help Americans waste less food, which could lessen the need for industrial farmers to grow more GMO and pesticide-laden foods that just go to waste on lands these insects need to survive. In addition, the White House announced a plan to create a pollinator highway along the I-35 corridor between Mexico and Minnesota, which is the main migration pattern for monarch butterflies. See, science is even finding new careers for bees. New research suggests that bees could replace dogs in drug sniffing. Turns out they can be trained and retrained much more effectively than dogs to find different kinds of drugs. So, if the threat of bee and butterfly extinction could have such a catastrophic ecological and financial effect on our nation and the world, why are elected officials and oversight agencies turning a blind eye to the obvious connection?
beautiful. He doesn't even mind that my camera is there. Coming! I'm coming! Oh, bee and a butterfly at the same time.
go away. Thank you.